delighted to welcome back on the show. I haven't spoken to this man since his uh, destruction of, of Carl Pender. I think it's fair to say at UFC uh, Fight Night Dublin uh, back in October. And that is Tom Breeze, who's a big fight coming up at UFC London um, against Kayla Nakamura on the 27th of February. First of all, Tom, uh, I haven't spoken to you since then. And since, uh, you know, what do you do with, with, with the big 50G bonus on edge? Have a good night in Dublin. Uh, did I have a good night in Dublin? A good night. Yeah, in Dublin, you know, it was a great night, a uh, good fight for me. And, you know, I just spent the money on, you know, training, uh, bringing people in for, for training. And, you know, I moved out of the dorms as well. You know, I'm in a, in a condo now, so it's it's nice. You know, better better rest. Awesome stuff. So it's feeling more like home in, in Montreal. Yeah. Yeah, and Duff, Duffy's uh, nearby as well, I believe. Yeah, Duffy's in the same building, you know, so we, we walk to training together and that, so it's still... Still similar to the dorms, we just uh, you know you have a bit more privacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I I want to ask you about you know you we, you spoke after the fight in, in Dublin about um you know you put on I think it was twenty nine pounds. You're walking around at I think one hundred ninety nine on on fight night uh, after weighing at one seventy on the Friday. Um, you know, do you think that's because of your youth and because you look after yourself and and as you get older, do you think you're gonna possibly move up uh, to a different weight class? Is, is that the natural sort of progression for for Tom Breeze in the future? Yeah, I think there's a good chance of that, you know. I mean, I walk around at like 205, 210, you know. Um, so there's, I, I could go up to 185 now. Yeah. But uh, I feel I feel great at 170, you know. I feel strong, you know. And, you know, I do what i got to do at 170. And then, you know, we'll see we'll see uh, 185 in the future. How, but um, 170 how, is good for now, you know. I made the weight. How do you cut that amount of weight to, to get down? Because it's it's pretty incredible. Because you are a big guy, you know, you're you're six foot three as well, and uh, you know, big frame on you too. Yeah, I um, you know, I'm disciplined with my diet. I work with George Lockhart, you know. Yeah, yeah, no George. And it, it's just if you if you're disciplined with your diet and you're putting in that work in the gym, you know, I'm every day I'm putting it, I'm I'm on the treadmill after training, you know, running, running, you know, I'm still doing my my technical work, you know, but I'm always always doing extra work, you know, burning the calories and. You know, I'm in great shape. I'm lean, and you know, it's it's not it's not easy, but it's not. I'm, I don't feel like I'm killing myself either. You know, I feel I feel healthy. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And Tom, you you spoke as well after the fight. You said you know you're, you're pretty much ready to get straight back in there. It's been like over four months. Is it a bit sort of? Would you like to got a little back in a bit sooner than than February? To be honest, I feel like it was. It's it's been pretty quick. You know, to be honest, like. Feels like yesterday I was in there. Yesterday was fight week. You know, I'm approaching fight week again now. It just feels good to be active. You know, it feels like feels just normal now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I'm, I competed in November anyway. I did a like did, did a jiu jitsu competition yeah. and that. So I've been active and you know I've not stopped training. So February four months is not too bad. Yeah. I like three to four fights a year anyway. Yeah, yeah, sweet. And you must be hugely pumped to be on this card. You know, we've two of the legends uh, in the middleweight division going down, going to throw down. We've, we've Anderson Silva and Michael Bisping. To be on that card and on the main card in your home country as well, it must be something special for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's great to be recognised for my skills now, you know. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm on the main card, you know, and, uh, you know, just one fight before the co-main, so, you know, that's good and uh, I look forward to putting on a, a good performance. And you've talked about that, you know, you've, you, we know you've been over there, you were over, over you are brought in originally, um, to train with GSP, and I think we sort of touched on it the last time we were speaking uh, on the show here um, about the amount of guys from the UK and Europe going over to TriStar, and you know, in fact, I think there's even been a lot more even since then. We've had Tarek Safadine come in with you guys. We've had yeah. uh, JoJo Calderwood. Um, you know, the list goes on. Sage Norcutt's joints uh, up with, with the team there as well. Do, do you think you know in the UK there's a, the, the, uh, there is a lack? of a real home where guys have to go overseas in order to um, progress as a mixed martial artist and sort of build their trade. And we've seen it even more, obviously, with the, the amount of guys that have further gone over to, to TriStar. Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel, I feel like there's, for MMA, you know, for boxing, it's, it's strong, you know, and grappling, the uh, jiu-jitsu is pretty strong, but MMA, you know, it's, it, it's a different level up out here, a different understanding, you know, and, uh, like for me, I don't feel like I'd I'd be anywhere near the level I am at, you know, if it wasn't for the training at TriStar, you know, and also like training with the likes of John Danhart, Henzo Gracie. Hmm. It, 
why do you think it is though everyone seems to go like TriStar really is a gym at the moment that everyone seems to be be talking about and you know every time we 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 speak to some of the guys from TriStar there seems to be a new addition a new big name joining TriStar is it because of um the history of the gym and, and the likes of Faraz Sahabi and George St. Pierre Rory McDonald and, and guys like that yeah that and also you know if there's if there's a load of high level training partners there that's also going to attract you you know you you're only you, you're going to you're going to want to test yourself against these high level training partners, you know, see where you're at. And once you get here and you, you know, the, the tra- it's very addictive training here. You know, the training's great. It's fun. And, you know, when you, when you're on the mats, yeah. you know, when, you, when you're sparring GSP, Rory McDonald, you know, it's, you know, you go home and you're training with, you know, Ben Smith or something. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's different, you know, I, 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 that's an interesting one for me. You know, we, we know you've trained with, with, with GSP. You were brought in in the past to, to train with him. Who's your main sparring partner, you know, coming up to, to fight week? Is it Rory McDonald? Is it like Tarek Safadine's obviously come in there now. He's probably taking a little bit of time off after his fight. Who, who's the, the the main guy that w- would come in and, and throw down with you? For, for, this, just, just, for this upcoming fight? For, for this upcoming or in, general? In, in general, in the, in, the, in the gym and this upcoming fight. It all depends on my uh, opponent, really. You know, if 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 Rory's about sparring, you know, I'll always get around him with Rory because it's sharp, high quality sparring, you know. So I'll always spar with Rory. But um, I kind of, as I get close to the fight, I like to spar guys more similar to my opponent. Yeah. You know, like and being at TriStar, it's it's very good because like you've got people coming in and in and out all the time. For example, like the last fight with Pendred, there was an uh, an Italian guy fights on Venator. Yeah. Uh, Big scrappy guy. I, I used to get a lot of rounds with him. He was quite similar to Pendred, you know, like to clinch a lot and stuff. So, you know, it's a, there's always there's always guys to different bodies to spar. You know, at the moment, you know, my my next opponent is more of a safe poor fighter. So I'm trying to get more rounds with even more safe poor guys. Yeah, and he likes to grapple as well. Uh, you know, Katie yeah. Nakamura. That that'll be his main uh, sort of facet and background. And you're a guy. You haven't got to show that, but I know you're very. Um, talented jiu-jitsu player as well and and you know you, you can more or less go anywhere you can work with I think Matt Miller and your, your wrestling in the past yep. is, is that something you're a little bit frustrated because you haven't you haven't been really able to show your grappling is it something that you're you're really looking to to show the world on uh, on, Dece- on fe- February 27th um I'm not I'm not really I don't feel frustrated you know I feel like I showed it earlier on in my career and you know it's and now my grappling's better than ever you know, if if the fight goes there, I'm prepared. You know, but if it's on the feet, I think people are already seen how dangerous I'm on the feet. But you know, I'm I'm sure I'm going to end up in a grappling situations in, in my future fights. You know, maybe this next one. So I'm prepared. Um, people will see it eventually. You know, and uh, they'll still see they'll see my full game. What was that like after you know you you know you disposed the call as we said, but you know, in pretty epic fashion. Was it a uh, a little bit frustrating the fight didn't go longer, so you could you know maybe get to use some of those assets and those facets of your repertoire skills um i wasn't frustrated you know there's, there's no need to be frustrated it was a good performance you know um yeah it was excellent i uh i enjoyed every minute of it i was just having fun you know i was landing my shots i felt i was controlling the distance well you know in in and out landing my shots and uh i felt like it was a good performance and you know i was just i'm just always excited to get back into the gym and just keep improving my tools, and then fight night comes, you know, and it's just time to show my skills, have fun, and and that's it, really. You've talked about becoming a world champion in the future. Uh, this fight against Nakamura is this the, the transition into the top fifteen to really make that charge in twenty sixteen for Tom Breeze to get um, to where he wants to be in in the next couple of years. Um, for me, this is just an it's just another fight, uh, more experience, you know, more more octagon time, you know. It's uh, there's no rush, you know. I've got I've got a long time in this game, you know. So I'm just taking it one step at a time, and you know, building, building the complete fighter. So when are you gonna make that push for the title? Is it uh, obviously you want to become a complete fighter, but you're gonna have yeah, you know, uh, your eyes possibly on a top fifteen guy after a win in London. I'm sure being on the main card as well. Um, like if the U- if if the UFC want me to. You know, jump up right away. I'm ready. You know, uh, I'm ready to bang. But uh, as I say, no rush. I'm I'm just ha- happy to do what they're doing. You know, as long as I'm stepping up, I'm improving. I'm ready to go. I know what level I'm at. I know if I if they put me in with those top guys straight away, I know I can I can knock them out and I can submit them. I know what level I'm at. So, you know, 
I'm just get I'm I'm just gonna get better every fight, so that's it really. You're on the same card as Michael Bisping, as we said, uh, you know, uh, a British mixed martial arts legend uh, and an English legend. Who's gonna be a champion first, Tom Breeze or, or Michael Bisping? Or are we gonna see both of you uh, make a push this if, year? If I was to bet money on it, I, I feel Tom Breeze, you know. I feel <laughs> uh I feel like I got more potential, but you know, I got a lot of respect for Michael Bisbee. He's he's achieved things that you know he's fought guys that I haven't fought. You know, he's fought, he's he's been there, he's tested himself. You know, so I got a lot of respect for him. But you know, I'm a, I'm a confident young man. And I believe in my skills. Is this the coming of the, of the young guard in the UK on the mixed martial scene, art scene your, yourself, uh, the likes of Arnold Allen, guys like that? Yeah, I believe we're coming through. You know, um, you know, one fight at a time. The the uh, the the amount of Skilled fighters in the UK is going to grow, you know. Biz been Biz been still top of the pile, oh, you know. Yeah. He's yeah. he's he, he's proved that, you know. But uh, yeah, definitely the new guards coming through, new wave of fighters, you know. There's even there's guys that aren't even on the uh, on the card that are that are good fighters, you know. Darren Tills look of good, course, yeah. Really Danny good. Roberts looks good, you know. So there's good guys. Yeah, definitely is. So are we going to see another bonus winning performance for, from Tom Breeze on uh, the 27th of February? You know, it's 50 G's for Breeze, isn't it? You know, I'm chasing, I'm chasing that bonus money. Good I wanna, stuff. I want, I want that money, you know, I put it into my training and uh, look after myself a bit. So, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm definitely looking for it, you know. And uh, with my fighting style, it's definitely a, a high possibility. Definitely, Tom. It's a fight I'm uh, really looking forward to. I want to get one more off you. Um, main event, who are we going to see win? Anderson Silva and Michael Bisping? I'm not sure. Um, you know, and Silva hasn't, hasn't been his usual confident self, you know, in years. And Michael Bisbin, he's a uh, one thing you can say about him. He's always been consistent. You know, he'll lose against the real high level guys usually, but he's always consistently puts on consistent performances. So, you know, I, I can see Michael Bisbin maybe winning this one. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I think Michael's a, a very good chance in this fight yeah. as well. Just one more for you. Will we see George St. Pierre return to the octagon? You're a guy that's, uh, that, that's close to him at TriStar there. Uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, but what's your thoughts on him possibly coming back in this uh, this this year, this calendar year? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Um, you know, he's he's always in the gym training, you know. He was he was grappling yesterday. He was in, in the gym sparring today. So, you know, he's training. So, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he was to come back. Awesome stuff. But, That'd be yeah. great to see. Tom, uh, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Anyone you'd you like to thank? Any sponsors? Anyone like that? Uh, just thanks to, you know, my training partners and uh, my team at TriStar, you know, uh, for for the help. Excellent. And the guys can find you on Twitter um, at Tom Breeze MMA. Isn't that correct? Uh, at Breeze MMA. At Breeze MMA. There yeah. you go, guys. Hit Tom up. Tom, I do appreciate the time as always. Looking forward to the fight on the 27th of December, my friend.